The Nook just stepped up its game. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Barnes & Noble has updated its Nook tablets with full access to Android apps. The Nook HD and Nook HD Plus have been updated with the Google Play Store and the Chrome web browser. Nook users can download it from the Barnes & Noble website and it will be rolled out to devices in the coming days through a Wi-Fi update. This really helps the Nook compete with Android tablets since before the Nook limited which apps it allowed on the tablet. But Google Play is more than apps. Nook owners can also purchase music movies and other ebooks right from Google Play. That also means you can download the Amazon Kindle app and put it on your Nook. It's wild that Barnes & Noble is letting users access competing bookstores, but it becomes a more attractive product by giving consumers more choice. Acer just announced two new touch laptops and a tablet. The flagship product is the Aspire R7 with a 15-inch screen that's mounted on this floating hinge called an easel where you can move and reposition the screen to where you want it. Acer also introduced the Aspire P3, which is a smaller Windows 8 tablet hybrid that mounts to a keyboard cover. Expect to see more of these smaller Windows 8 tablets in the coming months. The first plane to fly on solar power day and night took off Friday from California. Its wingspan is as long as a jumbo jet, yet it only weighs as much as a car. This historic flight will be a slow journey. It travels at 40 miles an hour and two pilots will be taking turns flying 20 hours at a time in this five-leg trip across the United States. And it will eventually get to New York's JFK airport in early July. Google just made it easier to schedule a calendar event over email. Now in Gmail, when you're writing an email, dates and times will be lightly underlined. And if you click it, you can quickly schedule a calendar event without leaving the email. This is rolling out over the next week. And it's time to say goodbye to Hotmail. The service is officially dead and all users have been switched over to Outlook.com. If you have a Hotmail account, you can still use your email. It's just that you have to go to Outlook.com to access it. 3D printers are getting more exposure as the office supply store Staples announced it's going to be selling the new 3D Systems Cube 3D printer. This is the first time a 3D printer is being sold in a brick and mortar retailer that has a national presence. The Cube will be in Staples stores in June, but it's available online now for $1,300. Hmm, I wonder if they'll have a coupon in the Sunday paper. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.